internet children, my name is Taylor and today I have a special video for you guys! Today I will be playing 20 questions with a special author guest, Darcy Woods. Darcy Woods is the author of Summer of Supernovas, which is one of my favorite books that has come out in 2016. It was released in May and I have been pushing this book on so many people that I thought it was time for me to express my love and push it on you guys so that you can pick this book up. There's also a giveaway at the end of this video, so be sure to stay tuned for that. I am so excited. Let's jump right into the questions. The first question I have for you, Darcy, is describe Summer of Supernovas in three words. Let's see, three words. That would probably be swoon, star-crossed, and lost. I totally agree with swoon. This book is way swoony. The next question I have for you, Darcy, is who is our main protagonist in Summer of Supernovas? Wilhelmina Carlyle is the star, no pun intended, of Summer of Supernovas. She is a 17-year-old teen who is absolutely obsessed with living her life according to her astrological chart. And so astrology is a big thing for her, as is vintage dresses, particularly circa 1940s. She has a closet full of them and wears them pretty much every chance she gets. I'm all about the 1940s style. It was so cute and I love the dresses and the description of the dresses in this book. The third question I have for you, Darcy, is how does astrology come into play in Summer of Supernovas? Well, as I mentioned, Will is obsessed with astrology, but in terms of how it relates to the story, she has discovered this 22-day window that she has to find true love. The significance of that is that her mom was actually an expert astrologer and tragically died when she was six years old. Prior to her death, she had asked Wilhelmina, she had made Will promise to always follow her astrological chart, especially in matters of love. In many ways, astrology and the stars themselves become somewhat of a surrogate mother to Will since she's lost hers. And so it's really her only remaining connection that she has to her mom. Finding true love in 22 days? That's ridiculous. Okay, what? How do you find true love in 22 days? The next question I have for you, Darcy, is do we have a sassy sidekick? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, we have a very feisty, fiery sidekick named Irina, and she is Will's best friend in the whole entire universe. Uh, Irina is a Russian piercing artist. I would also very much want her on my side if I was playing pool. She's an excellent pool hustler. And I think Will sort of sums it up best when she says Irina loves who she loves and she hates who she hates with little that falls in between. I definitely would want Irina on my side playing pool. I'm not very good at pool. Like, I play, but like, I'm not very good. I, I love the diversity in this book. Can you describe our love interests for us? So we have not one, but two love interests because a girl likes options. Um, first, there's Grant, who I very much suspect you are a fan of, Taylor. Grant is a sensitive guitar player who, unfortunately for Will, hails from the wrong side of the astrological chart. Grant is also sexy, steadfast, and he harbors a very tragic secret of his own. And then there is also Seth. Seth is extremely romantic. He is a huge fan of grand gestures and just showering a girl with attention. Seth is also very much, I would vote him the boy, most likely to literally sweep a girl off her feet. Two swoon-worthy guys. Okay, Will is one lucky girl, let me tell you. Well, since you've just described our two amazing love interests, do you have a preference? Are you team Grant or team Seth? You have to tell me. You can't not choose. Ah, uh, team Seth, team Grant, team Seth. All right, I'm gonna flip a coin. Heads for Grant, tails for Seth. Here we go. Grant. Flipping a coin, an excellent move. I am definitely a Grant girl. Team Grant all the way. What's your zodiac sign? I am a cuspy. My birthday is May 22nd which puts me right on the cusp of Gemini and Taurus. And I am absolutely a Gemini through and through. However, 
Uh, I can be very stubborn and I tend to be very, very hardworking and determined like a Taurus. I always tease my husband that I am basically three women in one, so he'll never be bored. My zodiac sign is a Capricorn and like I don't know if I fit that well. Maybe you can let me know down in the comments down below. Leave your zodiac sign commented down below. What's your favorite piece of vintage style clothing that you think Will would wear from your own wardrobe? Alright, so I've hunted through my closet and I have found the vintage inspired dress that I think Will would be most likely to wear. You may have seen this on Twitter. This is the cherry dress. Will actually wears a similar dress, except it is with a black background in the book. All right, so Taylor, I know you didn't ask me this. However, I also looked in my closet and picked out a pair of shoes that I thought Irina would be most likely to wear. And much like Irina, um, these feature some leather, and they are very tall and kick-ass. And also, they could potentially be lethal. The dress is super cute and I love the shoes for Irina. That was like such a great touch. I'm so glad you added those in there. Who's your dream actress for Will if there was ever a Summer of Supernovas movie? Which there better be. Movie director make a people. Make Summer of Supernovas a movie. This is such a hard question. Uh, I think if I had to come up with a dream actress, probably a young... Ellen Page, potentially a younger Natalie Portman. I can definitely see Will as a young Natalie Portman. Like, I think that fits really well. What is a supernova? Well, if you have never seen images of a supernova, I'm going to suggest you hot foot it on over to Google and check it out because it is absolutely breathtaking. A supernova is actually what happens to a star at the time of its death. So it actually collapses in on itself and emits this just brilliant light that is a billion times more luminous than the sun and can outshine an entire galaxy. Stars dying sounds so sad, but I mean, look at how beautiful these pictures are, guys. What's your favorite part about being an author? Favorite part for me? It's you guys. When I hear from readers, um, whether it's on Twitter or emails or Facebook, and you've taken the time to get lost in this world that I've created and you've invested in these characters that I've created. It's just, there's really no greater feeling. It's so great to hear that authors are just as much in love with the reader community as the reader community is in love with the author community. It's so awesome that we have opportunities like this to chat with each other. What was your inspiration to write Summer of Supernovas? But I was literally sitting out on this very same screen porch and it was nighttime and I was looking up at the stars and I was thinking, I wonder what the stars are saying. I wish I could understand them. And a voice in my head <laughs> popped in and said, well, I know what the stars are saying. I speak the language of the stars and I can tell you. That was the first time I met Will and she popped into my mind with her cat eye glasses and vintage dresses and I just knew she was gonna have one hell of a story to tell. I think it's so cool that you're sitting on the porch that you came up with the idea for Summer of Supernovas at. That's awesome! Thank you so much for sharing that with us. You have to tell us, Darcy, what's your biggest fear? I promise we won't use it against you, Darcy. Things in my shoes. Okay, let me back up and explain this because that sounds like a really irrational fear. However, I guess it was probably a couple of years ago. I was getting ready to go for a run, which I rarely do. Generally, I only run when chased, but this is when I was feeling ambitious. So I went to put on my running shoes and I felt the most excruciating pain in my foot. Of course, I quickly yanked off the shoe and shook it and out tumbled a hornet. I had been stung between my toes by a hornet. And now I am physically incapable of keeping my shoes anywhere other than inside a hermetically sealed box. A fear of something in your shoes is totally legitimate. Are you an ice cream or a cupcakes girl? I don't even have to think about this one. It's a no-brainer. Cupcakes, cupcakes, and did I mention my answer is cupcakes? I am for sure a cupcakes girl too. I mean, you can never have too many cupcakes. What's the coolest place you've gone to because of Summer of Supernovas? You know, really more than the cool places, it's just been the cool people that I've met. I have got to meet amazing readers, 
amazing, amazing authors that I continue to be in awe of, amazing bloggers. So it's just been fun. I love getting to connect in person with, with all of you. Next year, I will actually be heading to Germany. The German edition of Summer of Supernovas has just released over there. It's called Zwischen dir und mir die Stirne, which is a mouthful, I know. It translates to Between You and Me, the Stars. I used to live in Germany, so it is very much my second home, and I, a part of me never really left there. So it's pretty cool to have my book on the shelves over there, because now it's like a part of my heart is still there, too. It's really cool that you can meet people all over who love your book. I know I am your biggest fan of your book, and you haven't met me yet. What is your favorite quote from Summer of Supernovas? I have to ask, because you wrote a whole book. So what's your favorite line from the book? Anyone who knows me knows that I am a hardcore romantic. It probably is not going to shock you to hear this short passage that I've picked out to share with you from the book. I feel tossed into the strongest current of the Opal River, held captive in a whirling eddy. I want to stay in this spinning place forever. No moment compares to the feel of his wake, his mouth, his skin. And if time were really measured in grains of sand, I would take this grain and flatten it, stretch it as far as physics allowed, let myself bask in this feeling forever and ever and ever. That quote was awesome, Darcy. I love that quote so much. That is such a beautiful quote that came out of the book and I just, I love it. I love it so much. The next two questions kind of go together. So, do you see a sequel to some of Supernovas as a possibility? And do you have any current works that you want to share with Taylicious Reads? Give us the first inside scoop on. Mostly because I want to know. I'm working on a secret thing. I'm also working on a not-so-secret thing, and that is a companion novel to Supernovas that follows the boy who doesn't get the girl. You're not gonna tell us about the secret project? You have to tell me more. You have to tell me more. Where can we find you on social media? You can find me at DarcyWoods.com as well as Twitter. My handle there, I'm a regular haunt, is at WoodsWrite. And then I'm also on Instagram at WoodsWrites and Facebook. Just poke around there and I have an author page there. I would absolutely love to connect with you guys. So please give me a follow. I'll see you on the internet. Go follow Darcy on her socials and you can follow me as well. I'm at Taylicious Reads on almost all of my social media except on Tumblr where I am the real Taylicious Reads. All of that will be left down below. And my final question is what do you have to say to the viewers of Taylicious Reads? Just have to do a final shout out to my girl Taylor. Thank you so much sweetie for having me. I had an absolute blast. Mwah, mwah. Adore you and if those of you that are watching are not currently subscribed to Taylicious Reads. You are going to want to get on that pronto uh, because she is a champagne bubble of a girl and she has wonderful thoughts on books, books, and more books. Thank you so much for being here, Darcy. I have had so much fun playing 20 questions with you. Thank you so much for being here. We love you. So, I have a giveaway for you guys, which is awesome. Thank you guys for staying the whole length of the video. I am going to be giving away a signed copy of Summer of Supernovas, as well as hella lots of swag. You want to see her signature? She signed it. If you want to enter the giveaway, you have to be subscribed to Taylicious Read. You always have to be subscribed to enter any of my giveaways. And number two, you have to be a USA resident because I have to ship this book myself. And if you didn't know, shipping costs money. You have to be 18 years old or older or have parental permission because I will need your address to send the book out. I hope you guys love Summer of Supernovas as much as I do. And I hope you had a great time watching this video. My raffle cuffer link will be linked down below with extra ways to gain extra entries and to enter the giveaway. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Okay, bye!